What's going on everybody? Gem Mint here, right in time for season three. We have the Mandalorian with Baby Grogu in quarter scale by Iron Studios. I believe this actually came out during season one. Grogu wasn't even named yet, so kind of an old school piece. Excited to unbox it. Let's get into it. All right, guys, here we go. So we have some straps. Let's take them off. Only one layer. Let's lift off the lid, take off the tissue paper. And here we have our Mandalorian and Grogu pieces. Let's start with the base. So we can see this is number 172 out of 750. All right, we have a nice sub base going around here. It's got the best scar armor as well. This rocky terrain of a base, a mountainous type of base. We have a dusty stormtrooper helmet on the bottom. Then we have Grogu's carriage. Now this did come damaged and I couldn't tell if this is how it was supposed to be or, or not, but yeah, it actually was, if you see, look at the top here, it was attached and that did come damaged, but it's something that I don't even really need to glue back down. It just fits how it should. Nice texturing on the inside on Grogu's costume and blanket. The weathering and battle damage is cool, plus the design of the carriage as well. All right. Then we have little baby Grogu's face. They captured the eyes. They look great. I love the pinkish tones you can see on the inside of his ear, on his cheek over here with the green skin. Looks very nice. Here we have the Mandalorian's right arm. You can see the Beskar armor on his shoulder. It has a great metallic shine, but it also has this dirty brown undertone, like a rusting kind of look, which looks awesome. A very fine texture on the inside of the arm and on the elbow as well. The next arm here, you can see the weaponry. You have his Bambray grappling line. I thought it was a bad paint job on the hands, but it's actually the brown glove. So it looks very detailed. I like the paint applications, the different textures work and contrast. Then we have the body. So we have all of the armor. We have his ammunition strap. Moving along to the side, we have the blaster. Great texturing on the holster, same as the belt, kind of like a brown leather look. A very fine texture on the fabric part of the outfit. Although this is fully sculpted, got more rounds strapped around his leg here, weathering on the boots. You can see more of the utility belt, more of the straps around his legs. And we do have a sculpted cape, so a very narrow cape. And this also has a very fine texture to it. You almost can't tell from far away, but if you look up close, you can see the texture there. So nice to have a sculpted cape on Mando. Then we have the Amban rifle, this huge rifle, wood grain texture on the handle. The detail on this looks amazing. You have that burnt type of metal on the tip, the scope there, and it's just a very long weapon. We're gonna have to measure this. And lastly, we have the helmet. I think it looks great. You actually see that brown rust look along the seams of the helmet. Nice attention to detail on here. Again, I love that metallic shine, the shine off of the black on the mask looks great. All right, let's get it assembled. So we'll put Grogu's carriage on first. He's in the back. Can't forget the portrait, of course. Then we'll go ahead and key Mando in. So he just has a peg on his left foot, nothing on his right. Then we'll swing around, get that cape on before we put on the arms or the portrait. Let's get that right arm on first. We'll swing him around, get the left arm going. Let's go ahead and get that portrait on almost completing the statue looks great so far let's go ahead and put the rifle on the back of his cape that has a little keyhole and bam there we go all right everyone it's time for the april dash spider-man booth subscription box you get over 100 dollars in retail value that's five comic books store exclusives and ratio variants you get access to monthly giveaways membership only store and of course two exclusive covers limited to this box. You'll receive a copy of The Exiled, number one, which is the new Wesley Snipes book on what not publishing. This one pays homage to Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. There are only 300 trade dress in existence, 200 virgins, 200 foils, and 100 medals. The second one is Ninja Funk issue four with this beautiful Akira homage, 200 regular editions, 100 foils, and 50 medals. Swing on over to that spidermanbooth.com and sign up for the subscription box today. All right, and there we have it. Now, the only thing is I can't really tell because he's in mid stride if it's crooked or not. I mean, what do you guys think? I think from some angles, it looks crooked, but from some, it looks straight. I think when you look at it dead on, it looks good. But besides that, man, let's take some measurements. It looks like the handle of his rifle is the tallest point, which is gonna make him just about 23 inches tall. Remember, I said I was gonna measure this rifle too. The rifle is 20 inches. 
So that's gonna actually affect the width or the depth depending on how you display it. I think it's gonna make the width like 17 inches, whereas the depth is only about 11 and a half or so. Now this piece retails $750, but it looks like it's sold out on Iron Studios. So you have to get it on the aftermarket. If you do pick anything up from Iron Studios, use code GEMMINT, it'll save you 10%. But that is The Mandalorian. Let me know what you think about this piece in the comments down below, how you like in season three so far, and I'll leave you with The Mandalorian spinning on the turntable. Stay minty fresh, y'all. Peace.